so let's get started in this tutorial we will learn how to integrate google maps into our angular application so i'm using latest angular framework that is the angular 14 for this demo so the first thing that we need to be installed into our application is the google maps package so using this command npm install space at the rate angular 4 slash google map we can install the google map library into our angular application the next step is we need to be import the google map module into the app.module.ts file so add it into the import section and this belongs to the angular 4 slash google map packages that is lie under the node module packages under here when you expand your under this you have your google maps package under the node module folder then the next step is open your entry point of your application which is index.html we need to be add a google map api javascript file with your key that is associated with your account so right now for this i am using a demo development key for this demo so when we load a map you will see a watermark written as this is only for the demo purpose so next step is we need to be create a component let's i already created it let's name it at google map so open this component on the html side what we need to be do is we need to be use a tag that is the google map and then we can specify its option like the height width center with the center property zoom what is the by default zoom and i have added a two couple of events like the map click and when we are moving cursor over the map so i am creating a two event for that so let's see what it is open your google map dot component dot ts file over there i have display my center define it my default zoom and then my two events when i am moving a cursor over my map then you can see what i am passing is i am passing a map mouse event to my method and then i am checking my event dot lat long is not null and then i am simply on this dot center file i am just passing my lat and log in the json format and similar for the move event what i am doing is i am passing a map mouse event and then i am display its value into my display string property that is defined into our html if you notice over there we have our lat and long and using the display property i'm checking it it is not null and then i'm using its property so let's quickly see this demo so its application is only already run on the port 4200 you can see uh, we are on the google map component so as i am moving the my mouse over the map you can see the lat as long already changes according to that so you can see also since i told you i'm using a development key so on the map you will see this is only for the development purpose when you have a live key this hover or you can say a watermark will not be there you will able to see the actual map okay so let's since the google map is introduced as a component so we will use google map as a component into the various ways like we will how we will add a marker in the google maps and then we have a map info window and we can also draw the polygon polyline rectangle circle these are the shapes and then you will see we have a overlay effect over the map and then we will start adding our layers in this demo kml layer traffic layer transient layer bicycle layer direction and the heat map for the direction we need a actual production key with the willing details but i will show you demo how we can use that and also google will provide us the map geocoder service which will be used to calculate the distance between the two points so let's get started we already covered the google maps so now let's jump to the map marker demo so let's close this first jump to the map marker so in the map marker we will learn how we will add a marker for any file or you can say for any on the map for any place so it is same google map tag you will define your height and width for the map then center and the zoom and here on the map click now what we are doing we are adding a marker 
and below that we have a list of all the markers map marker and G4 so I have a map marker positions where I am storing it and then its position and the option fields so if you open its TS file that is the component.ts file then you can see the center zoom and the Mac map marker options we have additional over there whether it is draggable or not we set it to false for this demo and then your marker position and that on the add marker what we are doing is we are checking for events lat and long and then on the marker array we are simply pushing its all the detail that is the latitude and the longitude so let quickly jump to the demo on the demo here we have a marker we have a map loaded and then I am start clicking it you will see marker is adding on the place where you are adding it right so this is how we can add a marker on the Google map in our angular application so simply a marker add event in which you are actually passing your map mouse event and then on the HTML side what we have additionally do we have a map marker tag where we show all our map markers over the Google map right so let's jump to the next demo that is the info window like when we add any marker then if we want to be show a information window on any of the markers so how we can do that so let's close this first open your map marker info component here it is so open firstly its HTML in this HTML what we are doing is Google map similar on the map marker we have a add marker event that is the previous thing now here you have a map markers over the map and then on the map marker map click what we are doing is we are opening a info window so here you can pass its dynamic window or dynamic content for this demo we are simply passing its info window content when you click any of the marker then this window will be appear so if we quickly check its TypeScript code so you can see we have a center and apart from that we have a view child we need to import that and pass it into the info window and then these property are default center marker position zoom and then add marker we are pushing that marker into the marker position array and finally when we click any of the marker then we are actually passing a marker to the method and then we are checking it whether a info window is defined or not and then we are passing that marker info into that particular info window okay so if we quickly check this window you will see I'm adding a marker right and when I click any of the marker a window will be appear you can show this particular marker info in this particular info Google window okay so let's jump to the next that is the polyline in the polyline what we are doing is we are actually drawing a uh, polylines over our Google map so this is the output how we can achieve this so open your polyline component so firstly see our HTML on the HTML we have a Google map and inside the Google map what we have we have a map polyline and the path attribute in which we are passing its vertices vertices basically when we are we want to be draw a line over the Google map so that coordinate will be stored into this vertices object so open your TypeScript file here you can see we have center we have zoom then we have vertices in which we have pass our lat and long four positions in which we are passing it and our polyline will be drawn over the Google map in this way how we can draw a polyline over the Google Maps so next demo is how we can draw a polygon right so here is the polygon you can see so what is the logic band that simply open your HTML we have instead of the polyline now we have a polygon and same we have vertices for the polygon so open your TypeScript file here you will pass your all the polygons vertices or you can say a latitude and the longitude positions and your polygon will be drawn automatically based upon that 
okay so next is how we can draw the other shapes like the rectangle here you can see we have a rectangle and then we have a circle circle is very you know minute because its radius is so small you will see the circle is over here if I start zooming it you will see a small dot because its zoom level is so small now you can see circle starts appearing on the map you will see this is a circle so let's switch to the code see how we can draw a rectangular circle open the corresponding components first the map circle so firstly open this HTML so in this Google map component simply you have to hide width center and zoom and then you have a circle with the radius property and the center attribute property circle center what is the circle center so open your component file here we have defined our circle center with the lat and long position and then we have a radius for this way. so in this way how we can draw a circle over the Google map so let quickly jump to the rectangle also so open your rectangle instead of the circle now we have a rectangle map rectangle inside the Google map and then we have to pass its bound property basically the all the shapes all the boundaries of the rectangle so here it is in the bounds we have to pass east north south and west and in this way we can draw our rectangle using passing these parameters and pass this over to bound property and our rectangle will be drawn over your web page okay so after these shapes we have overlay and the layers property as you can see we have extra overlay property if you want to withdraw anything over the Google map since this is an angular demo so we are overlaying the angular icon over the Google map so how we can achieve this so quickly open our overlay component so in this we have a Google map and then we have a map ground hyphen overlay property and in the URL you will pass your image URL property and the bounds will be your coordinates so open your TypeScript here you have a email URL that you want to pass it and then your bounds at what position you want to be show it like the rectangle east north south and west and in this position your image will be shown over the Google Maps pretty simple and then we will switch to the layers we have different type of layers that Google provide us the KML traffic layer transient layer bicycle layer direction layer and heat map layer so let's quickly see this demos first you will see this is your KML layer right so if we saw its code how we can achieve this simply open your KML component here you have HTML Google map same and then your map KML layer on the URL you have a KML URL for this use this layer on the Google map so open your component file here you you will see you have your components KML file if you open this file you will see let's try to open this into the notepad plus plus so here you will see in the KML file you have all your data corresponding to that that is the coordinates that you want to be pass it for every pins that you are able to see it on the demo here these are the three pins that we have defined it into our KML configuration file so in this way this is the second campus this is the third campus and here is the coordinates for the same so in this way we can use this KML layer so when you click on it you will see a Google video will be open for the same so in this way you can basically see the different videos passing it into the configuration file so this is how we can use the KML file don't worry about the code you will get it all on the github repository link is in description so just try to focus on understanding the concept that Google provides us so next is the traffic layer so you will see you will not find any difference but a layer will be drawn over your map so how we can use the traffic layer quickly open your component for the traffic layer 
you will see here you have a map traffic layer that is the auto refresh set to false when you are moving it on the traffic let's set it to true when you start actually moving it on the live basis then you will see your traffic layer is updating based upon that okay so the next thing is the transient layer since I told you on the layer you will not find any difference a layer will be drawn over your map transient layer same for the bicycle layer so let's quickly see their code first for the transient layer we have a map transient layer simply and on your component file you need to be simply define we want to be use it on the component there is no specific configuration we simply add a layer over the map We're using this tag map dash transient dot layer okay and then for the next is the bicycling layer for the bike cycling layer we simply navigate to our bicycling component so in this similar for the transient layer we will simply add a bicycling layer if you have you are running a bicycling mode then a layer will be appeared based upon that for the direction if we open your console you will see a error you must enable a billing on the Google Cloud project to use these services for the direction we have to be use a live billing enabled key after that this overlay and the direction services you are able to use it okay so the next last as a component demo is the heat map layer you will see a dots basically this is the heat map dots you so you will see a couple of dots over there basically this is a seven fourteen dots each row consists of the seven rows which is a heat map so how we can use that open its component firstly see the HTML for the heat map what we are doing is we are simply using the map heat map layer and then we are passing our heat map data and the options for the same so what are the data and the option for the heat map so open it firstly this is these are the lat longs that you are able to see on the Google Maps we have to be passed that and for the options we have radius so let's try to increase its radius from 5 to 10 you will see a more blur line radius is increased now so these this is these are the different type of components that we can use into our angular application that Google providers lastly Google also provide us the geocoder service that is basically used to calculate the distance between the two points so how we can use that open your geocoder component on the HTML we don't need to do anything simply add this on the map so what we are doing is we are actually subscribing the geocoder to get the address value so for this if you want to be used that we need to be enable a billing for our key that is not with us right now because this is a development key that I am using so on the console you are able to calculate the distance for this address that you are passing into your geocoder subscriber service so this in this way we will use Google Maps into our angular application into the different ways these are the components by which you can use and this is the service don't worry about the code you will get it on the description over the github thanks for watching see you in the next lecture